Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, boys? How we doing, man? I got another one for you guys tonight. Um, I made a video the other day, you guys, a couple days ago, about how God will um, isolate you on purpose. And I kind of had like a spin off of that download uh, that I kind of wanted to emphasize a little bit, boys. Um, so this one is, um, I want to talk about, uh, the title of this one is God puts uh, us alone and God will, will get you alone. And the reason why he does this is that so we can learn to rely on him. And that's basically what it is. And that's why we go through these seasons of isolation. And that's why it kind of coincides with semen retention. You know, semen retention gets us into this place where we're learning how to control our lusts. We're definitely not loading up those websites. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to call all these different types of females because she looks good. You know what I mean? She's got some some fatties. You know, she got a fat. You guys know what's up. We're learning not to react when we see these things. You know, we're learning how to control ourselves and develop self-control and have that bleed into all the other areas of our life. You know, so we can, you know, we improve on all the other areas of our life. But you guys, the main... Um, message of this is that God puts us alone so that we learn to rely on him so that we learn that, that we don't need all of this stuff you know he, he wants us to understand that we only need him and that life is simple like life is literally simple you guys like once he gets you alone you kind of get to this place where you understand that our life is really just all about serving God and our life is really just you know we're here we're put here by God to serve him, right? And to interact with him and to live out his purpose, to live out his will. You know, he wants us to love ourselves, love him, obviously, and then love others, you know, and to help other people. You know, that's basically it. It's very simple, you guys. Everything else is kind of, you know, all the other details are just kind of like man-made stuff that, that we really, you know, we get lost and we get confused because there's so many different things that, you know, that we have, I mean, there's a list of things that could go on. I don't want to go into too much detail on that, but guys, our, our existence is very simple. You know, when, when you have God, we're here to serve God, love ourselves, love other people, be a kind person, help people when we can, you know, whatever, whatever it is that we can. Guys, the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us everything we need to know. But um, God puts us alone, you guys, so we can learn that he is all we need. And that's that's it, you know. He, he he gets he takes everything away, but then he shows up and he's like, "Look, you know, my child, this is this is all you need." Um, and he gets us to a place where we can where we get so lonely that you have to call on him, bro. Now you get to the place where you're so broken, you know. That's why a lot of people experience it, uh, these rock bottom moments. You know, I had one myself. I had definitely had a rock bottom moment to where. I had nothing, you know, I didn't even have family members, you know, to basically call on and I, it was just me and God and luckily I've always had a relationship with God so I knew I could call on God but this, um, when you really hit that rock, moment, rock bottom moment, when you're so lonely, when you're so fed up with what you've been doing where, you know, you keep beating your head into the wall so many times where you have to call on God, you know, a spiritual solution is the only thing that is going to pull you out of, of that situation. A spiritual solution is the only thing that's going to work, bro. Literally, you have to give it up. You have to give whatever it is you're going through, you guys. Give your struggle to God and just say, you know what, I'm done. You have to surrender it. You know, it could be anything, man. For me, it was drinking, drugs, alcohol, um, being a people pleaser, trying to, trying to have all these different groups of friends, you know, trying to be... Uh, the nice guy trying to be just an, a person that, I, that I'm not you know what I mean when I'm I'm my true nature is just you know, I, I'm pretty low-key you know I like to just do my routine and I like to I like to uh, spend time with God I like to talk to the people that I love and all that other stuff you guys I realized that it wasn't it was all an illusion and I know a lot of you guys can relate but um that's what it takes, man. God will rip you out of that scenario. It gets you into the place where you're completely alone, bro. And you're, whether you're having the rock bottom moment or you're on semen retention and you're just alone, you know, where you're in that, that incubation period where you're single 
you know, you don't even want to be hollering at, at girls. You know, you just, you, it's just a time for yourself. And I would suggest um, you guys do this, bro. And for me, it's been probably about a year since I first went on SR. It's been a year. Um, you know, I started in September of last year, and this whole time has been, you know, my spiritual journey, getting closer to God. And um, that's honestly what I would suggest you guys, man. Six months at least to a year to where you're just isolated and you're not even speaking to women. You know, you, you got to really form this connection with God. Um, and he wants us in this space, you guys, um, before he's gonna, before he blesses us. You know, like when, he doesn't think that we're ready. You know, we have to get into this space to where we're alone and he molds us um, before he starts to bless us with like, you know, maybe money or, or maybe a, a partner, like a woman or, you know, a family, a woman to, you know, have kids with and start a family. Um, so we're prepared. So we have God so we can so we can be prepared for when this stuff happens, you know, so we can have the spiritual strength, so we can have God throughout all of this, throughout the rest of our life. So when we have a woman, we can love her, you know, with God. You know, when we have kids, we can be that godly father that we're supposed to be. You know, if we don't go through this isolation period, we're, we're not gonna have that spiritual strength. We're still gonna be, you know, empty vessels, as I like to say, how most people are. You know, they don't have this connection with God. They don't have the strength right to be able to provide for their family um there's a whole list of things guys but guys this time alone is that he's molding us to gain spiritual strength and he's molding us so we learn to rely on him so when these bigger things happen we're gonna still rely on him you know what i'm saying there's so many things in life that that, that end up happening you guys you know everybody dies you know you got to deal with death you got to deal with different tragedies people get sick people get cancer People, you know, get hurt. You go through, you know, heartbreak. You know, God wants us to rely on him. So when these things happen, I mean, these things are inevitable, you guys. So we got to be able to rely on him. So, you know, when these things happen, we can learn to call on him, you know, and we'll have God all, all right by our side. You know, if we develop this um, connection with him in isolation, we'll learn to always have him by our side. So then life's going to be a lot easier. You know, when you got God with you, life is definitely you know a lot a lot easier so that's my message is that uh, God puts us alone you guys so that we can learn to rely on him you know we're not relying on worldly things we're not relying on a person you're not relying on your girlfriend or your wife you're not relying on your family members you know that's all I mean that's another human being I know we're all made in God's image but another human is not as powerful as God God should always be number one, and God should always be your your uh, source of strength, you know, and power. You should always be going to God first. So that's why he, he puts us alone, guys, for these seasons so that we can get to know him and we can learn to rely on him. So, all right, guys, that's the message that uh, God wanted me to bring to you guys tonight. Drop a comment if you guys can relate to this. If you guys are in your isolation period right now, let me know what's going on. I would love to um, to hear from you guys. All right, man. Peace out. Have a good one, boys.